first had your first team of oxen, how old were you? I was about 12 years old, okay. I would say. Uh -huh. And uh, at them times, you didn't have no yoke straps like we got today, not for steers, mm. for the little fellas. So I used cod line for cod yoke line. straps. You know what cod line is? Sure. Yeah. So I could go along, and the cod line would break, and one steer goes this way, and one goes that way. But after a while, then I got, uh -huh. I got told that I could get little straps for them and, and uh, play with them, you yeah. know. So your father had uh, oxen. Oh, my, yes. And your grandfather had oxen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was brought, brought up in the ox family. Anyway, yeah, so. right. Yeah. And you were telling me that you had raised oxen and bought and sold oxen your whole life except when you were in the war. Yeah, that's right. And you right. said, how many teams that you guessed oh, you had? I just judge around 500 pairs, probably. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. That seems to be a lot, but... Well, over the years. Yeah. Over the years, you yeah. know, it's yeah. a long time, and sometimes, you know, you sell three, four pairs in one winter, uh -huh. but you can't do that now anymore. Why, there just aren't enough buyers? Not enough buyers, and it's sort of, sort of going out, I would say. Yes, yeah. yeah. But when you go to Bridgewater Exhibition, it seems to be a lot of teams around it. Yes. It's 70 some pair there, I think. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Get off, Dan. Okay, Spotty, it's your turn. Back, Spotty. Look around here. Don't back them up in there so they all get up. Get in there. Back. Back. Get in. Back. Back down. Back, Spotty. Back down. Back. I got a game leg. I can't handle them now. Mm -hmm. She she handles them. Yeah, I we shorten them up like that so it keeps them for standing right for it to put the yoke on. Them. in many events. Oh. Do you think they sense the competition? Yes. You do? Oh. They, they yes. know it's a competition. And some of them are very sly, too. Uh -huh. They'll do great home, uh -huh. but you get them out in the ring where they know you can't correct them. Uh -huh. Spotty, come up here in your place. So how many pairs of uh, yokes will this team require as it well, grows? Well, this is the first one, and when they're that size, they'll have to have a new yoke every year. Uh -huh. It grows so fast. Yeah. And, uh, and this wasn't made for these. This is the yoke I picked up and fed it on them uh -huh. off of another pair. The, the ox pads and the uh, straps and all that stuff, on the average, how long is one set good for? If you look after them, they'll last you a lifetime. Uh -huh. Take care of them, yeah. you know. Keep them oiled, I guess. Keep them oiled yeah. and, and uh, clean them up, keep them clean. What do you use for oil? Linseed. Linseed, okay. Yeah. yeah. Linseed and, and neat's foot oil. Yeah, neat's foot's good. Yeah, yeah I use that that's too. That's the best. Yeah. Neat's foot oil is for leather. How do you take a calf? And and make it become well, an oxen. Yeah, you you keep him about five, six, seven months old, and then you get him castrated. Uh huh. They call a doctor. Get him doctored. Uh huh. And then from there on, he grow into an ox. What's the process in, of training them to follow the commands? Well, that's quite a long story, but 
uh, I find that when they're small, you learn to lead by a halter first. Mm -hmm. And after you get them leading, after you get one leading, and then you get the other one leading, then you can tie them together and go with the two of them. Mm -hmm. And you travel around with them that way for days, and then you finally, when they get horns enough, then you can put a little yoke on them. And from there on, from there on, it's easy. Yeah. You take oxen now, a yoke, a pair of oxen, some of them, when they get that old, they'll do maybe five, six years, a pair of oxen, because they're pretty well done growing. Uh -huh. See what I mean? Yeah. So the same yoke. We'll but this little stuff here, you've yeah. got to have a yoke for every year. Yeah. Yeah. You measure their head, see how long the heads they take. Uh -huh. That's where they grow out of a yoke, is the width of the heads. I see. See? Yeah. So uh, if you're going to make a new yoke, the first thing you do is measure the head, see how uh -huh. long a head you need uh -huh. in the beam. You know, you know what I mean by the beam? Yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. So uh, big cattle takes a, a longer beam because their bellies is big and it gives them more room to walk. Uh -huh. Shoves them apart, you know. So uh, steers don't matter too much. The little steers weigh 10, 11, 12 inch beam is long enough for. And these are a year old, are they? They were a year old, yeah. And how long have they been pulling these weights? A week. A week, only a week. About a week ago, we started hauling them little weights with them. Okay. Yeah. Is that to get them ready for new Ross? <laughs> Well, they won't be ready for new rocks because we don't have the time to, we don't have So the, they're not going to be pulling? Well, not Whoa. really, no. They might go around and haul empty drag, maybe, and uh -huh. then out they go. Yeah, they're ready. Whoa. See how the chain comes around behind the bolt? And that's called the back bolt. And up here, if they're onto a load, that comes against the yoke and holds your wagon back and the chains pull it. Now I'm going to just take them for a walk across the field. They'll settle down some. Easy boy. See, I, I was playing with two other pairs, and these were neglected. So after I sold the other two pairs, then we went to work on these, and, and it don't give us much time. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I, I'm satisfied the way they go mm -hmm. for what time we had to work with them. Right. They're right ready now that some ox man gets them. He can make a team out of them in a short time. Uh-huh. See, the worst is over. Uh-huh. Yeah. So anyway, that's about the size of that. <laughs> that's about all I can tell you tonight. That's I mean, good. Huh? We'll wore you all out. <laughs>